Hello everyone, it's Stevie Jacko here. Now I don't know if you remember, about a year ago I made a microwave gun. It wasn't that successful, but it worked. But it wasn't powerful enough. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the magnetrons from two microwaves. These two microwaves, and I'm going to make a microwave gun Mark II. So here's the magnetron, just about. And there we have it, magnetron, one magnetron unit. Danger, danger, high voltage, high voltage, danger, danger. Danger, Will Robinson, danger. I've got my two magnetrons out of the two microwaves. And now I'm gonna put them into this Black & Decker heat gun. So there's my two magnetrons ready to be all wired up. They're now slotted into the metal tube of this Black & Decker heat gun. The microwaves travel into the tube and each one combines with the next one which in turn increases. So if I had 10 the first one would mix would combine with the second magnetron and generate more power into the third magnetron than the fourth magnetron and by the time it got to the end it would be a very powerful beam. A few years ago it was believed that you couldn't get enough power, enough megawatts of power to produce any kind of beam. But there's two inventors from Abacurki, New Mexico, and they have proven that you can combine it, not electrically, but mechanically. If you combine all the magnetrons mechanically, then you don't need the power. So there you go. So this is the Stevie Jacko dual magnetron microwave gun. No trouble is you need a big long lead. 